This Florida cooking segment is brought to you by Fresh From Florida. Remember, delicious is always served fresh from Florida. Chef, I see lobster, potatoes, and eggs. You're blowing my mind here. What is this? Yes, we have Florida spiny lobster and potato hash, and it looks yummy. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Florida spiny lobster? Yes, the famous Florida spiny. So, Chef, hero commodity here in Florida. One of my favorite seafood products from all of Florida right here. Yeah. The Florida Spiny Lobster, delicious. When it's cooked properly, it's tender, it's sweet, nothing better. And so while we're here, let's just stop and make a distinction between this and the main lobster. You know, there's a big difference. In Florida, this is this, this is our lobster, yes, right? Yes, yes, this is ours. And it, it tastes sweet. So when you're thinking of lobster, think Florida spiny lobster, not the one with the claws, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. let's get that settled. Totally. Okay, so Chef, what are we doing today? I All see right. potatoes here, like you're, you're, you're blowing my mind here. What are we doing? Yeah, we're doing a fun dish, and you know, this isn't something that uh, we created a while ago or had around. This is kind of a work in progress. So you're involving me in a test here. This is Absolutely. A Will there be a test at the end, like a pop quiz? There'll be a taste test. A taste test, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? Okay, so we've got our Florida spiny lobsters. We've got our two hot pans. This one's on about medium high. I've got my potatoes here, my wonderful Florida potatoes, and I've blanched these so they're about par cooked. Now I'm gonna put them in my pan. I'm gonna start getting some crispiness and some flavor on okay. them. Okay, Florida grows potatoes? Yeah, absolutely. I had no idea. A little butter going in, a little bit of olive oil, and we're gonna go ahead and put in our potatoes. We got some nice sizzle, which is Ooh. what we want. Getting that sizzle. And then we're gonna go ahead and season this with a little bit of seasoning blend. I'm using some of my favorite uh, Everglades spice here, but okay. any kind of seasoning blend will work. Blackened, whatever you have and whatever you like. Mm -mm -mm. Plenty of seasoning on there. Is this ready for a mini snap? Take it easy. There you go, good job. Okay. All right. All right, so next, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of our Florida sweet peppers. I'm just chopping up my peppers. I want a small dice on these. All right, let's get these in. Ha! All right, so now we wanna add a little bit of herbs to that. We've got some thyme and a little bit of rosemary. We're just gonna pull these off the stem. This is really gonna add some great flavor to the dish. Uh, the test kitchen has a really nice aroma to it right now. It, <laughs> it does. Good. We got rosemary going on, we got potatoes over here. And real soon, we're gonna start cooking those lobsters. Yeah, absolutely. You know, fresh herbs are a great thing to have in your kitchen. They're a great way to add flavor without a lot of fat or salt. In they go. All right, Chad, we've got our beautiful spiny lobsters. I've cracked them open, and now we can remove this meat. Mm. Just like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dice these up a little bit. I want them about the same size as my potato chunks. So those are gonna go in the pan here? They're gonna go in the pan, yeah. Ha! But first, let's get our eggs going. Okay. I'm gonna put a little yes. butter in here, and I'm gonna let nice. you crack some eggs in there. I want you to show me how you, because I get shells yeah. when I crack, so okay. show me how to crack an egg. So a lot of people like to crack on the edge of something. Yeah. It's good to crack on a flat surface. Flat surface. One nice okay. little crack, and boom, there it goes. See, I, I think I'm doing it too fast. I do it with one hand. The single hand I, crack. I usually have another hand, I, so I, I No, snap not on it. the edge, on you a see, flat surface. You see Rocky Balboa snap 70 in that cup? That's how I learned how to crack <laughs> and an egg. And drink them down? Yeah. Okay, get the egg in there. All right. Voila. Now, of course, what do we gotta do with our eggs, Chad? Um, scramble them? We gotta season them. Season them. Yes. Ah. Oh, and I'm wearing it. Black pepper. Okay. Salt. I'm gonna hit this a little bit. There we go. My kids a think little that's, pinch. Woo. My kids think that's dirt on the eggs. When I put pepper in there, they're like, <laughs> I don't want dirt on my eggs. Maybe try some white pepper. They make white pepper? They do. We can go ahead and add our lobster. Pan cam. Ooh. Oh. Let's get the lobster in. I love that sound. Yeah, Jeff. just kind of work it around the center there. Okay. Such you know, these lobsters cook so fast, they're really almost done. And I love what's your, it's it, if it's done in the pan, what's your motto? Overdone in the plate. If it's done in the pan, it's overdone yeah, in the plate. Yeah, you're you learning. Want, I know, man. You've really picked up some I'm, things. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm a student. <laughs> a wet sponge. 
Okay. Look at that, man. A couple more flips. I think this is done. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my heat. I'm just going to squeeze okay. a little bit of lemon juice on top of here. It's beautiful. And I think we're ready to plate this up. Let's go with our eggs first. And now certainly, if you don't like your eggs this runny, you can cook them a little more. There we go. All right, let's get our lobster and potatoes. All right, I'm starting to see this come together, Chef. So in your mind, like, this is your process. And when you're processing out a recipe, are you thinking final plate, what this thing looks like? Is yeah, top to, to bottom, yeah. You're going through the whole thing from top to bottom. You know, how much time is it gonna take me to cook this dish? Yeah. And can I make sure that all things are gonna come together at the right time? You get some more lobster on there. Nice big piece <laughs> of lobster on top. Looks good. And now we're gonna garnish this with a little bit of herb mayo. I made this earlier, it's mayonnaise. Um, a few of the herbs that we already have incorporated into our dish are rosemary, our thyme, a little bit of parsley, lemon juice, and some of our um, favorite seasoning. Okay. Wow. Such an artist. Such an artist. You like to have fun with it. That looks amazing, Chef. And then we're just gonna cut a few of these chives. And you're still not done. Almost on done. And on and on. <laughs> All right, Chad. Chef. There we are. Our oh, Florida oh, potato oh. and spiny lobster hash. We got sweet peppers in there. Mm -mm -mm. We got a couple fried eggs that are runny, some herb mayo that we made. This looks good. Chef, let's do it, man. Let's right, do what we ready do. Ready to taste? There you go. Oh man, I'm going right here. For this recipe and many, many more, go to howtodoflorida.com. Mm -mm -mm. mm. mm. Well, hey, hey, uh -uh. Uh, someone, uh-uh. This Florida cooking segment was brought to you by Fresh From Florida. Remember, delicious is always served fresh from Florida.